Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for Virgo. We're going to do Virgos monthly. All right. I do want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your subscribes. They're all so greatly appreciated. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, okay? All right, guys, remember, this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave behind what doesn't. Don't go try to make this fit into your life. For all my returning subscribers, thank you. Thank you for joining me on this journey. For all my new subscribers, welcome. Welcome. I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Show me what I need to see for Virgo. Show me what I need to see for Virgo for the month of October. This is for Virgo for the month of October. Discovery. Somebody's discovering some new fill-ins. Hmm. Somebody's discovering that they have fill-ins for someone or someone has fill-ins for them. We have growth. Hmm. I see some of you guys starting a garden. We have victim and we have renewal. You're going through a transformation. You've ended a lot of things. A lot of things have ended in your life, but it's for the better because that's where this growth comes in. For some of you guys, somebody was wearing a false mask in a relationship, in a connection. Somebody was selling you a dream, but you've walked away from this. I feel like for some of you guys, you may have been you're on like this journey of self discovery, seeing what you're re you're, it's like you're learning what interests you. I feel like there's somebody that's coming that's in this energy that's coming out of an energy of investing themselves into something or someone so much that you forgot who you were. And it's like you're going you're undergoing a new self discovery here. I see a lot of growth and abundance in your life. I see you guys taking care of yourself. But also I'm getting here in this energy, I'm getting the energy of somebody that's really and truly taking care of themselves, somebody that's kind of going natural. It's like I'm getting a vast change going, trying to become one with earth itself, like just trying to revamp. I'm, I'm re, somebody's revamping their whole from top to bottom, inside and out. I'm getting that energy here, whether it's yourself or whether it's your home. It's the energy that you're the, the energy that you're carrying. For some of you guys, there's somebody that's been watching you from afar, somebody that's pl been plotting and planning. Somebody, somebody in your energy, they've been plotting and planning. Hmm. But I'm feeling like this is for some of you guys, this is this is going to happen. You're going to be a victim to something. We're going to see what this is. I see a lot of growth happening though in the month of October and I feel like that's your journey is still going that journey of self-discovery it's happening it's progressing but you're seeing the fruits to your labor I feel like for some of you guys what you've been manifesting you're starting to see you're starting to see the fruits from that you're definitely going through a transformation you're going to you're going through a transformation within yourself but within your life itself, even your surroundings, even the people and the places, the people that you normally hang out with, the people that you normally communicate with. I feel like for some of you guys, you did a whole purge for some of you guys. I feel like you stopped going places that you used to go through. You used to go to. I feel like this renewal is your system. It's like a, a system reboot, a system overload here. That's what I'm getting here in this energy. For some of you guys, you were complacent for a very long time. You were stuck in something. Hmm. Show me Holy Spirit. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. Hmm. Crushed. See, that's that energy I'm getting here with somebody's gonna be a victim to something. There we go. That twin flame's gonna be coming back right back around. Magnetic. I feel
feel like for some of you guys, we have crushed, we have twin flames, we have magnetic, unexplainable pull, can't resist. I feel like for some of you guys, it's something about this twin flame. It's like you try to fight the feeling. It's like you're trying to fight the funk itself. Trying to fight this feeling, nightlife, gamble, take a risk, Vegas. Some of you guys will be contemplating taking a risk by re-entering this connection. But I'm also getting here in this energy for some of you guys, you're going to take a risk and you're going to end this connection, not knowing because I don't feel like you're going to truly want to like there's still going to be some type of energy tugging on you, tugging on you. But you're for some of you guys, you're going to walk away. But for some of you guys, you're going to go right on back. You see that you're going to go right on back because you can't resist it. It's 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 very magnetic, very magnetic. But you know what I just got in this energy for some of you guys, this person is still this person is about playing games. This person is going to come in just to see if they can still get you and 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 they may walk away like it's a game for them. For some of you guys, I just got this in the energy. There's somebody here that needs to hear this. It's a game for this person. Guys, listen to your intuitions because you're going through a transformation and this person sees your growth this person sees you moving on and that's why this person is going to come right back around because that's the thing with twin flames you, that energy tie is like they feel it's like twins it's like twin twin kids you feel the other person's pain you feel the other person's happiness their hurt their emotion same thing with twin flames it's like you're it's like married souls it's two people living on two different opposite sides of the world that still have the same experiences. So what you're feeling, they're feeling. What they're feeling, you're feeling. That's why you're tied to this person. But for a lot of you guys, you've met your twin flame. And the, your twin flame, we got in past energy. That twin flame connection really did a number on a lot of you guys. But I feel like that twin flame is going to be coming back in the month of October. Because there's something magnetic between you two. For some of you guys, you will choose to walk away. Because you know what? You've... you've, you've undergoing some type of self-discovery discovering your own self discovering your I feel like you know what I'm getting I feel like for some of you guys you've discovered that being alone ain't so bad like you've discovered what's important to you and I feel like you're in a happy place a pleasant place and you don't want anything to rock that hmm because you've undergone a lot of growth and I feel like for some of you guys where you're at in your head is that you've grown so much alone why it's like why why entice something why bring something back because you know what you had but you don't know what you're going to get hmm let's get into this guys show me discovery for virgo Show me, Holy Spirit. Show me discovery. Show me discovery. Yeah, that Eight of Cups in the reverse. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. We got the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Wow, that's a whole bunch of cards. We have the Tower in the reverse. We have the Five of Cups in the reverse with the Four of Cups in the reverse. Okay. Okay. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is a family member, somebody that you may have had a family with. Somebody is trying to avoid an upheaval. Somebody has regrets. Somebody's sad. Somebody's very regretful, very sad. This is someone that That either you hurt, they hurt, or they hurt you. This is somebody that wants to return. This is somebody from your past that wants to come back in. With this Eight of Cups, with the Tower here, that's strong Scorpio energy. This is somebody, the Tower came out in the reverse. This is somebody that doesn't want an ending. An ending has occurred, but they're, they, they want to come right back on around. With the Ten of Swords, it's like this person hasn't... I feel like this person has undergone some type of deceit, some type of manipulation. And this person wants to come back in 
because they have regrets. They have regrets. They're sad. They have sorrow here. But with the Four of Cups, it's like they're not sure. The Four of Cups came out in the reverse as well. It's like they're not sure that you're going to accept their cup. I feel like somebody here is discovering something new. Something like some type of new emotion here. And when I say some type of new emotion, what I'm getting here in this energy is like the grass is not always greener on the other side. That's instantly what I'm getting in this energy is like the grass is not always greener on the other side. Yeah, three of swords. Somebody could have been dealing with a third party, two of pentacles, juggling. We have the three of wands. Yeah, this is somebody that left thinking that for a while they may have been juggling you. They were they actually left you very heartbroken. But this person sees I feel like this person has been going undergoing some type of financial hardship since they've not been with you. And they're coming to an understanding, a discovery that and this is going to happen in the month of October. This person is going to be coming back to you guys for somebody. This message is meant for someone and this person could be possibly be a twin flame. And I feel like that this person, there's some type of sadness, some type of feeling alone. This could be you feeling alone, but this person I'm getting, I'm getting strongly. This might be this person feeling alone because they are in separation with you. But the thing about it is they chose this person did choose to move on from you. This person at some point in time, you could have blocked this person due to this. Hmm. This person is thinking about returning to you heavily, though. This is heavily on this person's mind. For, so for some of you guys, you definitely have a Scorpio that that could be coming back towards you. In the month of October. So if you were dealing with a Scorpio and the Scorpio left you. They're going to be coming back in. And you know why they're coming back towards you? Because where they've been, it has not it has not sufficed. It has not sufficed. It wasn't what they thought it was going to be. Okay. It wasn't what they, they thought it could be. Here we're discovering with this heart here. I can get this feeling that this person really and truly loves you and wants to come towards you but with all honesty i'm getting here in this energy the only reason why this person is coming back towards you is because they ain't getting better and that's what i'm getting here in this energy this person is not getting better wherever they are and this person wants to take a risk and come back towards you hmm but we're gonna see what's this justice for you though show me growth for virgo show me growth for Virgo for the month of October. There's love here. We have the King of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Knight of Pentacles. There's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. This, this could be you with the Empress. Wow, that's nice energy here. Gemini, Libra energy with the Two of Cups. We have the three of pentacles with the nine of swords. But you know what I'm getting here in this energy? This is good energy. With this growth here, I see you guys. This nine of pentacles, that's your energy. The empress, that's your enemy. That's Gemini. You, some of you guys could be dealing with an, another earth sign, with all honesty. But in the month of October, what I'm seeing here is, is I see love. But I see love. I see love for yourself. And I also see for some of you guys, this could be a new love offer coming in. Somebody wanting to partner up with you. Somebody that wants to work on a connection with you. Somebody that wants to build with you. For some of you guys, it could be somebody that you work with or somebody that wants to work with you. But I see you losing sleep over this. But it's happy loss of sleep. Like I feel like it's going to be so much joy. Because I feel like for some of you guys, if you are working on something, that's going to be successful for you. I do see this here. I see you nurturing a new idea, a new project, a new endeavor, a new relationship. I see you and see you nurturing it, but I also see it being nurturing. Hmm. Yeah, I see that there's somebody that's coming towards you and this person is going to want to work with you. This person, you could work with this person now. I see growth in finances, a business endeavor and in a relationship in the month of October. I see you guys definitely losing sleep over this though. So, uh, it, it's gonna, it's gonna, cause you know why I feel like you're gonna be losing sleep? Because it's gonna be like a wish come true that you just did not feel that it was gonna actually come true. This message is meant for, a, this message is meant for many. 
I feel like in the month of October, you're going to accomplish something, whether it's an accomplishment within your career, within your job, within a business, within your family dynamic or within a relationship. I see growth. I see abundance. I see you working on something. I see you nurturing something. I see a birth to something new. For some of you guys, you could actually have, you could be getting pregnant, but I'm more so getting in this energy as a birth to something new, like a new relationship, a new commitment, a new endeavor. Like if you've been working, I'm really and truly heavily getting, if you've been working on something, it's really going to bring you some, some success here. But I also get here in this energy, you have, you have somebody that's going to be expressing their love to you. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're going to be getting some type of communication. That's what you don't see coming. In the month of October, you're going to be getting some type of communication with justice at the bottom of the deck. Look at all these cards. Look at this. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands, Eight of Wands, Justice, the World, and the Page of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles. Let me tell you. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody that's coming towards you. They're very attractive. They're very attractive. They are very attracted to you. And they feel like you, like they're going to communicate. You're going to be receiving some type of fast action, fast movement, some type of message from someone. It could be another earth sign or it can be a, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. With justice here for some of you guys, this person could work in the legal system. For some of you guys, this person could want to come in and they could want to rectify. Or this person, I feel like I'm getting in this energy, somebody that wants to come in and help heal, build you up. That's what I'm getting here in this energy. Somebody that wants to come in and help build you up. I feel like for some of you guys, you've manifested this person into your life. I see you closing out old chapters and starting anew. With the Page of Wands, there's going to be a lot of passion between you and this individual. And with the Ace of Pentacles, there's a new offer. You definitely have somebody here coming towards you. This person is going to come in. They're going to offer you either to work with them or to be in a connection with them in the month of October. And you don't even see this coming, but it's coming for you. All right, guys. Show me Victim. Show me victim for Virgo. Whoa. We have temperance. That's Sagittarius energy. Hmm. We have the hermit. It came out in the reverse. We have the ace of swords. Somebody's watching you. I said that at the beginning with the chariot. Somebody that's been watching you. Somebody that you've been in separation from. Somebody's going to come in and they're going to speak their truth. And this person is coming in fast. Like this person wants a breakthrough with you. And this person has been watching you. But I feel like this person. I got this in the energy from the beginning. It's like you can't trust this person. That's what I'm getting here in this energy. I feel like you just can't trust this person. And when this person comes towards you. You're, it's like you've been working on your stability, on bringing balance into your life. You've been keeping healthy boundaries here. I feel like this this person could definitely be your karmic. And this person is coming in because they want to express some type of truth. But this person, what I'm getting here is this person has not been in a good place. Let's say that this person has not been in a good place. And this person wants to come towards you. That's It could be a Virgo, Cancer, Sagittarius. But I feel like for some of you guys, this person, it's just this energy that's around this person. It's just not good. It really is just not good. That message is meant for someone, not everyone. But you're going to get some type of clarity. You're definitely going to get some type of communication, some type of clarity from this person. We have the three of wands at the bottom of the deck with the emperor. But this person... This person has an ego. This person is controlling. And this person is trying to come back to you. This person actually left you at some point in time. This person might have moved away. And they, it's not around the corner where they went. They moved away somewhere far. And this person could have started a whole nother relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the six of swords. So this person is coming back towards you. For some of you guys, you could be a single parent. Like a parent with one kid. But I don't see you guys welcoming this person into your life. Why? Because here I see the Ten of Cups here. I feel like you guys and the devil. 
Like, I, I feel like you are happy without this person. I feel like for some of you guys in this energy, you're actually, you found your happy place. You're actually happier without this person. So when this person is going to come back towards you in the month of October, I know Mercury retrograde is over. And they say people from our past should not be coming back into our life. But you know, people do what they want to do. They really and truly do what they want to do. And with this twin flame connection here, I feel like this energy, this energy, tie is so strong there's still a lot of things that you guys have to work out what i'm getting here in this energy i feel like there's still chapters there's still things that need to be closed out between you and somebody and with all honesty there is somebody that's going to be coming back into your life and this is somebody from your past this is somebody that has done wrong by you this is somebody that had you in a third party something whether whatever this third party whatever this was this is somebody that you thought shit was over and done with and this person is coming right back on around yeah Show me renewal. Show me renewal for Virgo. This is for the month of October. All right. It's a whole bunch. We'll take them all. We have the sun. That's Leo energy with the five of pentacles. Hmm. We have the five of wands, the four of swords, and the high priestess. Hmm. All I'm getting in this energy, all I'm getting in this energy with all honesty is somebody wanting to come back in. And guys, it could be a Scorpio for some of you guys. If you were in, let me know in the comments. If you were in a connection with a Scorpio or somebody that has Scorpio in their chart, because I'm, I'm definitely getting this Scorpio energy highly. But we also have Sag, we have Aries, we have Virgo, we have Leo, we have Gemini, Libra, we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But I, I have high Scorpio energy here on this table. And I'm getting this is somebody that wants to come in because they want to heal something. They left you at some point in time. And this person could actually be going undergoing some type of financial constraint. But with the five of wands here, this person, this person all ca caused a lot of conflict in, in your life. At one point in time, you guys, you felt like you were competing for this person. With the four of swords, this person is thinking about you heavily. This person is, this person is going back and forth in their mind, whether they're going to come back towards you or not. But with the high priestess here, I feel like the, the divine is, is actually guiding this person towards you. But I'm also getting for some of you guys, that is for closure. That's not for this connection to keep going through. That is for a complete closure here. Because I feel like, for some of you guys, it's like this energy It's like for some reason. And for some of you guys, it could still be you could be undergoing some type of test as well. But for some of you guys, it could be for reconciliation, because I know a lot of Virgos who actually reconcile with their Virgos. So for some of you guys, if you have if you are a Virgo, that's in a connection with a Virgo, because we have Virgo here, I have gotten in the energy within the last month, I have a lot of Virgos who've contacted me and they've actually reconciled because this person is their twin flame, this person drives them absolutely bonkers. But they're, they're trying. They're trying. Why more so? Because they have kids involved. They have family involved. And they're at an age where it's, do they really want to start all over again? For everybody has their own reasons and for why they do what they do. I can only tell you what I see. Okay, guys. I will never tell you not to reconcile, especially if you have a family, especially if there's children involved. Um, and a lot of times the thing about it is in this world, you never know what you're going to get on the outside of this. With all honesty, you never know what you're going to get. Um but what I'm seeing here, there is somebody here in this energy. And this is all about a twin flame connection with all honesty, what I'm seeing in this energy. This is all about if you undergone something that was so drastic, so detrimental, a separation from something or someone. Because, you know, this could be for some of you guys, this could have been whereas you've kind of separated yourself from your family as well. Why? Because they were just tugging on your 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 soul. I'm not even going to say your heart. They were tugging on your soul and they were draining you dry. Because I get this in this energy as well. If you, I see, I see this coming right on back around in the month of October. And how you proceed is going to be for sure at your discretion. All right. But I can only say that in the month of October, there's definitely going to be things returning to you and I know that we're coming we're, we're out of mercury retrograde and these things should be subsiding these things should be going about their business but no but somebody is definitely going to be sad 
somebody is definitely gonna be sad because they see they that you're you're not going to reconcile with this person i am getting that here in this energy but the struggle is going to be real for some of you guys i see that the struggle is definitely going to be real because there's some type of magnetism here but i also get here in this energy guys and i love this energy here that i was getting here everything else really and truly is about somebody returning back into your life but i'm also getting for some of you guys you do have someone new coming into your life and you know i feel like this is going to happen simultaneously like i feel like when this new person is going to come into your life this in in it's like this new connection here and you're starting to have emotions starting to have feelings for this person and that's when this person your twin flame is going to be coming back in and that's going to kind of put a damper on things for you i feel like that's for some of you guys that's why you're going to be restless like because you're going to be constantly thinking why because you still have a soul tie with someone else but then you're starting to see that you know what this you're the this could possibly be something good this is this could possibly be something good and that's why you that's why you're going to be hesitant about it all i do see that that's what that's what all that hesitation and all that sleepless nights is going to be all about because you're going to be all in your head because you're not going to know what to do no let's keep this going guys show me what i need to see for virgo for the month of october four of wands bottom of the deck we have the moon all right so we have the page of cups we have three of wands that came out in the reverse that's somebody returning to you five of wands again i'm pulling from a different deck right now with the page of cups for some of you look eight of cups hmm for some of you guys, somebody could have definitely walked away from you and actually got married and started a family somewhere else. And this could be somebody that caused a lot of chaos into your life. This person may have left you. This person wants to come back towards you. This person is coming back towards you. Here with this three of wands that came out in the reverse, this person's coming back towards you. They're coming right on back around. For some of you guys, this person is traveling from afar. This person caused a lot of chaos and stress in your life with all honesty. You it was a, it was a constant battle. It was a battle. With the page of cups here, you you and this person, you could have kids, you could have had kids. This person could be highly immature, but this person, I feel like this person is going to come in and they're going to try to express some type of feelings and some type of emotions for you, but this person is just immature. They're very immature and the thing about it is you and it's like somebody is just trying to play you for stupid. That's what I'm getting here in this energy. It's not even really truly trying to play you for stupid. It's playing with your intelligence. That's what I'm getting here in this energy. It's like they've done all this wrong by you and guys. You like I always say you do as you as you see fit. But they've done all this wrong by you because I see somebody walking away and starting something totally different. This person could have gotten married to someone else. This person could have entered a new true home connection. This person could have moved in with someone. This person could have made a child with someone else. And here they come and right on back around with all honesty. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here in this energy for some of you guys. For some of you guys, this person is going to come on towards you and this person is going to actually offer to marry you. This person is going to want to move right on back in with you. This is what you don't see coming. And with the tower here, it could definitely be a Scorpio or a Cancer. The tower came out in the reverse because just like I said already with all these cards, I'm reading this all over again. With the tower in the reverse, we have judgment in the reverse and we have the devil in the reverse. It's like a, a never ending story. This person wants a second chance. This person doesn't want this tower moment to happen. And this person is hiding those emotions from you. With the two of cups in the reverse and the three of swords in the reverse, this person broke your heart. And we have the star in the reverse. This person, this was a wish fulfillment. But the thing about it is, I don't see, for some of you guys, for a lot of you guys, I don't see you budging why because this thing it was toxic you love this person you love this person a whole lot and this person left you and while this person but the tower moment has already happened you know this person this person has the this person is under some type of illusion that there's still an opportunity but i don't i really don't see this is what this person doesn't see or this is what you're not seeing or somebody's not actually wanting to acknowledge it could be a uh, it could be a scorpio it could be a capricorn 
yeah, this person, this person still feels like with all these cards in the reverse, what I'm getting here in this, in this energy is that this person is under some type of illusion that they still have an opportunity with you, but this person doesn't understand that, or if they, even if they don't understand, they don't want to acknowledge that they've put you through so much. They've drained you dry. That's what I'm getting here in this energy. This person truly drained you dry financially, mentally, physically, like this person kind of just, this person broke your heart. They really did a number on you and you love this person. You thought that you and this person had some type of partnership, some type of true soulmate connection. You thought this person was going to be, I feel like for some of you guys, you definitely thought that this was going to be your forever, but this person is going to be coming back towards you. But the thing about it is, I just don't see this happening. Yeah, this is your karmic guys. I don't see this happening. I don't see this happening. No. Because you've been through too much. And you think about it is you moved on in life. And you know what? Life is good without this person. What I'm getting here in this energy is life is good without this person. If I'm saying it wrong, guys, y'all let me know in the comments. But I see here in the cards. Look, I, I use two different decks and it's telling me the same thing. It's telling me the same thing. But I want you to know that in the month of October that there's going to be somebody coming back towards you. And whether it's a lover or a family member, this person did wrong by you and this person is coming back towards you. Okay, guys, you know, soulmates could be family members or lovers. So, um, twin flames could be family members or lovers. Show me. Show me what's the advice for Virgo. Show me what's the advice for Virgo for the month of October. So we have you are bright energy. Co color uplifts you. And it says be authentic. Your way is the only way for you. Hmm. Believe in your power to manifest at the bottom of the deck. All right. What I'm getting, what I'm getting from this, all I'm getting from this is that you've undergone a transformation. You've undergone a transformation from the inside out with all honesty. You are your authentic self. I feel like you have found yourself present moment. You have found yourself or you are finding yourself in the month of October. You are working on it. You started already and you're continuing along this journey. And based on that, based on that, you, you far, you far seed any of the, this foolishness with our honesty, you are bright energy. Your energy is bright. Why? Because you don't have anything sucking you dry. You don't have anything smothering your flame. That light that you shine, it's shining bright. And you don't have anybody in that. In, you, you're, you've separated yourself from anything that was dim, that was trying to dim your light. And I see this energy wanting to come right on back. Why? Because you know what? They see, they see you shining. They see you doing good and this person is not happy in their own life. No matter who this is, this person is not happy in their own life and they're coming right on back around to work on your everlasting nerve. I'm just saying you're going to do whatever it is that you want to do, but I want you to be pre-warned. But I also see for a lot of you guys, you're not even you're going to be unfazed by this. And this person is going to be crushed. Why they're going to be crushed is because their ego is too damn big. They think too highly of themselves. And you know what I'm getting here in this energy? They ain't that damn good anyways. This message is meant for someone, not everyone. But this person really and truly did a number on you. But the thing about it is, since you've been separated from this person, your value, your value has gone up and you know your value. This message is meant for someone. This message is meant for many. Because I'm definitely getting this here in this energy here. No matter whether you're a male or a female, whoever this person was that you, that you were in this connection with, you will know. You will know because you know what that residual energy is there. Look, you even though you are healed, healing, however this going, you're moving on in life. Some of you guys, you may have started a whole nother connection with all honesty. Some of you guys, you may be out dating, living your best life. But that don't stop. That don't stop an egomaniac. That don't start. That don't stop a narcissistic person. That doesn't stop somebody that has some type of mental issue. We all know that that doesn't stop. That doesn't hinder them from doing whatever it is that they want to do. And I do see this in this energy here. All right, guys, if this, if this message resonates with you, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Always remember, subscribing actually helps me pick up your energy. Until next time, I hope you have an absolutely positively wonderful week. And guys, remember, in the month of October, you're at this place of peace. 
keeping healthy boundaries, living your best life. The holidays are coming. If you have kids, you make you, you know that this is the time of the season just to to be one with those kids. Until next time, guys. I hope you have an absolutely positively wonderful, wonderful week. Bye, Virgo.